the percent of the pool that is filled is equal to the actual volume. We're going to call it the present volume. The present volume divided by the total volume, which will be multiplied by a hundred. Now, if you look at the front of the swimming pool, the total volume should be equal to the area of a trapezoid. The front is a trapezoid. stack vertically along the width which is 6 meter so multiply by the width closer look 3 meter is the base the height will be 12 and the second base will be one. So the area of the trapezoid is one half, the average of the bases, three plus one, multiplied by the height, which is 12. Now the width doesn't change and the width is six meters. 3 plus 1 is 4, half of 4 is 2. We get 2 times 12 times 6, which is 144 cubic meters. For the actual volume, present volume, the front is a triangle. It's going to be the area of the triangle stacked vertically along the width, multiplied by the, by the width. Here's the problem with this triangle. One base is one. The other base of the trapezoid is three. Now, the height of the triangle is 1. We need to create, create similar triangle. When we take 1 off of the bases, we get 2. So 2 is left. So we have, for the first triangle, a height of 1, and the second one a height of 2 a base of 12 and for the second one we don't know the base we're gonna call it x they form similar triangles x is to 1 what 12 is to 2 similar triangles have have corresponding sides that are proportional so we find the base of the small triangle made by the water which is so the area of the triangle is half of 6, the base times the height, 1, multiplied by the width, which is 6. So the volume, the present volume is 18 meter cube. Now the percent of the pool that is filled will be present volume 18 divided by 144 18 meter cube divided by 144 meter cube the total volume multiply by a hundred and the answer is 12.5 percent We want 
the rate at which the water level is rising, which is dH dt. And it's the a linear measurement of the height of the water. Given that dV dt is equal to one fourth cubic meter per minute, when the height h is equal to one meter and the width will not change the width is six meters we want the volume in terms of the linear change in the height let's look at it this way the volume is the area of the of the triangle so it's half of the base of the triangle times the height multiply by the width. Now we know that for a height of one we have six and for height of two we have twelve. Since the height, the given height is one, we only have two left, so we're good. The height should be between zero and two, the height that we're looking for. And the relationship is B, the base is six times the height. The reason why we have to replace the base by six times the height is because we want our formula to be in terms of h alone which will make the implicit differentiation easier so we want our formula in terms of h then we'll have just one variable to differentiate implicitly so the volume is half of 36, which, in, which is 18, and h times h, which is h squared. And dv dt will be 36h, 2 times 18, dh dt. Assuming that they are looking just for the linear function, the linear change of the height dv dt is one fourth meter cube per minute it'll be multiplied by 36 and when h is equal to one so it's 36 times one dh dt we're going to multiply both sides by one over 36 to get dh dt or divide both sides by 36 whichever way you look at it and we'll get one fourth times one over 36 and 36 times one over 36 therefore dh dt is equal to one over 36 times four which is 144 meter per minute